is so I was gonna save this for later but whatever I'll just say it now because it's like on my mind honestly you would be shocked at like some of the conversations that are happening like so I'm on the bus and there's these like three like black guys on the bus let me like try to narrate this conversation one dude he's like Pookie got locked up the other was like oh no and he got 128 years and the other was like I'm not talking to you anymore you weren't at the softball game now then the other one's like where are you going he's like I left my phone at home and I was just like, I'm like listening to the conversation and it's like, it just goes on. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, the power of doing nothing. The power of having no drama. The power of not being a part of a pooky story. <laughs> I'm sorry, like <laughs> it's just, if only I could describe to you, I was just like, I'm not even religious, but thank God I'm not a part of that narrative. Yes, I've gotten into a lot of shit in the last year, but it's like the type of shit you can like dip your pinky toe in and out of, you know, you know you're like, Ooh, do I want it? No, 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 I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. <laughs> Run right away, please, Olivia, please. And that's why y'all see me like not coming out, but dear God, the pookie narratives, they just kept going. I mean, he was like, this pookie got 200 years. This was, this was, <laughs> I can't make this shit up. There is like a literal power to just having no narrative, letting the narrative be nothing. I would rather just sit here and sing my pathetic, oh, I sang those songs all day. Oh, it was incredible. I can't like, I just, it's just, I'm like listening, trying not to comment. The struggle was so real. I'm just like, it's like my head sunk, it sunk deeper and deeper every three seconds into the conversation. It was like this. First I was like, oh, you're talking, it's so nice. And then it was like, they say one thing, I'm like, oh, they're like, oh God, oh God, there's nothing left. There's just, there's just nothing. I, I just, oh, okay. I'm gonna try to explain that better later, but like, that's the best I've got for like the three seconds of now. <laughs> <laughs> also like as pathetic as some of these stories sound and they seem like I'm like literally talking about nothing I kind of am but I'm just saying like I needed somebody to like actually it was just like another black female in the fucking earth to say something about nothing because <laughs> otherwise you'll be under this impression that like none exist which is like the impression that I was under like you cannot be the only representative in a space you know what I'm saying? Like, which is i just found myself in that position so often and i just couldn't fathom that being the case for like someone else it's so awful it's so awful and then okay here's another thing i thought was interesting and this is actually going to be the conversation the topic for tonight that we'll talk about um so i guess it was somewhere in texas there was like a racialized crime <laughs> So like a Mexican woman, she like literally attacked three Indian women and like bitch slapped them like right in a parking lot. I'm sorry, that's hella funny. Like, just imagine being a witness to that. I could have like rolled on the ground. I'm sorry, like the video is brutal. It's like three of them and this one bitch and they, I mean, she just bitch slapped everybody. She was like, whap, whap, whap. <laughs> She just kept going and I was so shocked. I was like, there's three of them. They could have easily like tackled her or something, but everyone just held their cameras up. They were like, <laughs> I'm glad she got prosecuted. I was like, okay. But like at the same time, she's also bitch slapped all three of y'all. And it's like talking shit for five minutes. It's just, it's just I can't. It's a lot, like, I don't know, I don't, whatever, I don't even, I can't, it's a lot. 